Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonah. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a very special guest with us today. Mm. It's me, Mr. X. Yes, hey, happy, happy to be back. <laughs> it's him again. Back. It's him again. You knew it. We knew he was here. Yeah, we knew it. Now, I, I, I need TNT to say his line, though. What's my line? The line you always say. It's your boy, TNT. No. Do I never what say What do we say? Your Let's boy. crack. Oh, I haven't come. said it. You have You haven't you oh, wow, you, you, you haven't been one. saying it, man. I, oh my god, dude, you I, opened my eyes. I feel, Look, he's I throwing it empty. off. He's giving Whoa. it to you. He's yeah, giving, he's giving it to me and I'm like, oh. "Oh, I can't. I don't know what to do with this." Like yeah, so the, there's let, been no crack for almost two weeks. I have to apologize to the community. People are large. like, "What the hell is yeah. happening?" I had to call you out, but but I had to wait until we were on a podcast to call you out. Like that's what right. I thought was no. The that's thing I appreciate. Honestly, I appreciate that call out. You I deserve welcome. to be publicly hey, shamed. I'm here to keep you accountable. <laughs> Everyone who noticed, put it in the goddamn comments and call yourself out because you didn't say anything in the comments before today. It's true. No, I'm, I'm trash, dude. Sitting in silence is part of the crime, okay? All That's right. right. That's right. All right. I'm off the cast. Yeah. You watch a man get beat up. Yeah. You beat him up, too. <laughs> I'm, yeah. You're complicit. God damn it. In culpable. actions. Ask Keefy yeah. D. Completely culpable. <laughs> well, Anyways. Well, Keefy D did it, but we, we already went on to that. Either way. Mr. X, you got something for us, right? I do, I do. So I was I was reading reading this and I saw this. So in Canada, there was an amusement park ride that is one of the ones that like swings, you know, it's like the one that swings around and around, like where you're it's almost like you know, like the you know, like the the boat ones that go oh, back the and sea forth. Dragon or whatever. So it's not one of those, but it's kinda like those, like uh -huh. that. The sea dragon. And this but this one goes all the way around. Well, uh -huh. this one got into equilibrium and got stuck upside down uh, oh like the inertia of spinning yeah. stopped at the peak got all the way at the top and it didn't make it over and it stopped that's like when you get the ball to stick on the rim at the basketball game yeah. like the, the the perfect the, the perfect thing for so for a half an hour these people were on one of those things upside down. Homeboy couldn't just, just and tap it with a hammer to make it. Well, I, yeah, and, and I didn't read that close. I'm not sure if that's ex if it's truth, really, not facts here on the crazy town. Yeah, I, I think it. I, I don't know if it was mechanical or if it really was. Just may, have may have seized up a little bit. Yeah, probably seized, it probably did. I mean, if you've been to an amusement park or or a carnival, you know those things are not. So look, this yeah. is the reason I don't ride shit like this. When I go, <laughs> just being honest, we I found it. We found the reason. Yeah, no, because like you know, stories like this, somebody dies in rogue. How do you guys feel about amusement park rides? Like roller coasters, like rides of this nature. Would you ride something like that? Absolutely. It, I, li Absolutely. I, I, like, I like roller coasters. It depends. As I've gotten older, some of the things I'm like, that shit ain't worth it. Like if it's all super uncomfortable and it's going to hurt just being stuck in the seat, like yeah. I'm like, get the F out of here. I'm not a small man. So like it, they're... Rides are not made for people taller than about 5'7", and that weigh more than about 160 pounds. That's true. Like, if you are either of those, but rides are uncomfortable for but you. But still, there's usually a 5'5 five five woman who weigh, weighs about four bills trying to get on it about yeah. every time. Absolutely. So, here's my answer to your question. My answer is, at an amusement park, a legitimate one, I'm usually cool with it. Usually. Like Six Flags? Yeah, like a Six Flags. Usually. At a carnival... Hell no. I've seen, yeah. like, as I've gotten older, like like what you were saying, I've started, like, I took my kids to one of those carnivals, one mm -hmm. of the, the rodeos. Where they park in, in the parking lot and set up rides. And yeah, like, yeah, exactly. But it was there for a long time. And I started looking at some of this stuff because I'm, I'm, I'm a little more intelligent now and can have a little bit more of an engineering yeah, mind. Yeah, 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 and yeah, I can yeah. look at these things. I go, that's not really very safe. No. It's working right now. Yeah. Until the but, goddamn cage rips off and bowls over a crowd in the, in the parking well, lot. Well, like, and, and I saw I saw a video on Instagram, like one of these things somewhere that was like starting, it was like rocking around and around and it was starting to fall over. Yeah, yeah. And like, and like 20 people ran yeah, and just grabbed it. onto it and climbed up on the side of it to I've balance seen that video. It. Yeah. And I was like, that's why I don't ride rides at, at no. uh, carnivals. And I'm that's fair. And, and the reason is because they set those things up they pack them up and then they drive to a town and then they set up and then they drive to a place. So they're constantly just moving those things around at a real amusement park. They're stationary. They're there's, safe. there's a, and they're, there's they're, a cast of people who are there to take care of theoretically. Them. Yeah. Theoretically. I, so what's really funny is when I met my ex-wife and she worked at a carnival, she worked at a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> we, she came to visit, uh, before she ever moved, uh, to Ohio. 
and we went to like we went to like one of those carnivals like that and we didn't ride rides but we went around and just played like the stupid carnival games knocked the bottles over you know typical like date stupid shit right mm -hmm. and this was in the year when was this 20 2012 or 2011 or something maybe yeah 20 something like that the prize that we won was a teddy bear that was a Y2K bear, and it had the <laughs> screen where the countdown to Y2K was on it, but okay. like the battery had died. So nice. 12 years later, they're giving away Y2K bears as a carnival wow. prize. Nobody won it. Nobody ever got it to Right. It. So it's just like, they're just like ordering shit from China in boxes, and it's yeah. coming, and that's what they're giving out as prizes. Like, it's, I mean, it's a racket. It's a yeah. racket. Oh, it's like, yeah. It, and I mean, it, that's why the term carny exists. Yeah. And it's a real thing like you go to the car but so the last one i was at you know where where i saw this i i was my kids were about to get on a ride and i was just gonna watch it was one of the ones that like spins around like puts you against the wall kind of a thing oh like the hell okay. hole yeah the, the, the it, gravitational pull ones yeah, yeah, so yeah. they drop a, they do something and they yeah. turn up sideways and you're just spinning around yeah i like those those are fun those yeah. ones are fun yeah, well yeah. so like the thing stops like right before my kids get on it and some dude like hobbles out of it and just starts puking everywhere, <laughs> all a over. Grown the ass man. Grown ass man. I mean, this guy. This guy had clearly either eaten too much or was probably drunk. drunk I don't yeah. know. But wanders and just all over the place. And then home carny man operating it walks out, throws some sawdust on it, and lets the next group on. And some of it was on there with him. Like it was like he didn't make it all the way off the ride before oh, he started. He and just I, sawdusted it. He sawdusted it and moved That's on. So and foul. and I just I was like, uh, I, I'm out. I'm hundred percent out at this point. <laughs> but 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 speaking of rides, you saw you probably saw it was a month or two, a couple months ago, I don't remember when it was, about did you see the video of like where somebody filmed it was a real legit rotor, roller coaster, but it had like the, the column had snapped. Like and it was like every time the the cart would go over it, it would separate and come back, bro. So it was like just doing like it was just like coming apart and back together and it, like and I, I saw this and they find they went and they told somebody and they shut the ride down. But <laughs> I, I, I honestly I don't see I don't see the allure. Why is it fun? To ride a ride that makes you feel like you're gonna throw up, or makes it feel like your stomach is in your. Throat. I don't ever feel that way. It's a thrill. I've never right? felt it's, that way once. It's, thrill. It's throwing you around. It's 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 a little bit scary. You feel a little out of control, but in your mind, you're hoping that it's all legit. But it's like it's like when you're on that thing and you go up and then you get to like that where you go. Where I hate that. That yeah, that's not I've, a good feeling. I've never once felt sick on a ride ever. I don't. Yeah. I, I mean, I've never really gotten motion sickness or anything of that nature. But I don't like the feeling that that gives me. It's I like not, the. I like the like being slingshotted and like playing with physics with your body. It's like that's what it's about. It's like playing with your body with physics, essentially. So you feel these weird things that you never feel. Yeah, and and like and like I said, the 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 big amusement parts are pretty much responsible and keeping yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I was at Six Flags in San Antonio. I don't know, several months back with my kids and, you know, and now the sad part was every ride just kept getting shut down over and over and over. Just this one's closed. When I went there, half of them were closed. Yeah. It's like they're closed and like they're trying to get them back open, but something's broken every time. And mm. I think half the time it's some sensor that's off. Right. And so they're yeah. trying to fix it because they don't have enough employees anymore to really keep those things at tip top oh, shape. Yeah, That's true. So they're not like, I, I don't like, it didn't feel when I was there, like things were being kept in tip top shape. Uh, like, like I was still riding everything. I didn't feel unsafe, but so, it, so if they couldn't meet the standards, they had to close the ride. Yeah, and, and so they, they had they some have the staff available to meet the standards. So. Yeah, or something's not locking down right, or yeah. you know the the seat belts aren't are. Huh. I think we got stuck on something because they couldn't get the seat belts to come up. Yeah, like because those things are like those things are designed. It's like brakes were if the there's no air pressure they come down like so if it's broken they stay down i mean there's not a lot of people really going to amusement parks anymore i don't you, no, uh. those lines are huge, you think those lines, it was insane you think it really was, i i, I know i was there i figured like Texas this heat, 110 degrees standing in line for an hour and a half it sucks Fun really? yeah and, and the ride's 90 seconds long yeah yeah well and i i was there during spring break and so yeah i mean it got progressively more busy through the day but like when we first got there, it wasn't super crowded. I would have thought that the amusement park would have died. In this people no, love it. Kids still love it, man. Okay. All yeah. right. Fair who, enough. Nobody who who doesn't want to buy a ten dollar Coke. 
<laughs> oh no, we bought the thirty dollar like all season Coke. Like for thirty bucks, you got a cup that you get to keep and get refills on for the oh, entire season. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. If you plan on going twice, you might as well get. Yeah, that. well, I, that's what I did. I bought the season pass and I went twice and made my money's worth because parking's twenty five dollars every yep. time you go. The pass was, I think, the pass was like eighty bucks. So going twice just in parking, you make almost the money back. Yeah, the pass had parking with it. Or yeah, and then you get to yeah, and then you get to go in for free, which is like another fifty bucks. And then the thing like the the pops, like yeah, you get two or three. I mean, you get. I went twice and probably got three hundred dollars worth of value. Yeah, <laughs> just I'm like <laughs> value. Yeah, <laughs> value with right? quotes yeah. around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, essentially they just they gave you sugar water and. I mean, you permission to park on. Well, land. The, yeah, and that was the funny thing was like, <laughs> and, and I didn't you even stand drink. in line. <laughs> it was so goddamn hot. I just wanted water anyway. So yeah. it was like, I don't want a sugary ass Coke while it's 110 degrees outside. Yeah, so. you, got, you got like 30 minutes of actual ride time in probably. Oh, yeah. For and sure. like probably like another three hours of standing in line. So that actually That's happened. A racket. In, so what? What? So we're on along the same lines. What do you guys think about water parks? I've never been to one. You've never been to a water park. Ever. I've I've went to the water park at Six Flags one time with a girl. Yeah, that's a water. But park. I've never went to that's like a water park. Schlitterbahn. Okay, you've never been to Schlitterbahn. Okay, no, I've heard okay. it's awesome. So I, I have one story about a, a water park. Since we've all been giving stories, I'm going to yeah. give a story too. Damn it! Awesome I was video. seven years old. It was nine, 1900s. I won't say you know what what date. I'm not going to age myself. And I had a Jerry curl. All Thank right. <laughs> I hope there's pictures of this. <laughs> There are, but you will never see them. Um, we go to Turtle Beach. Oh, Jogga Lake? <laughs> Jogga Lake Turtle Beach, man. Surf's up, bro. <laughs> he, did, he did the gnarly sign at me. It's awesome. You know, we went to Turtle Beach, and they had, like, splash pads. And I remember the water was coming down, and, and the Jerry Curl juice was stinging my eyes, and I could not see. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was just like terrified. You were like a blind mom. little boy just screaming. I was. And I was like, where's my mom? And that is, now, honestly, it's like a core, a core memory of mine. <laughs> and you're like, I'm never going to the water park again. Well, I never. I'm not against water parks. Jerry though. curls and water parks. You don't go to go. Yeah. I really don't. Never again will I do either of those. <laughs> All right, that's my story. I'm sorry. All right. but yeah, I, I forgot parks. the timer, so we're probably at time. So all right, that's all the time we got for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com for Jonas. TNT and, and Mr. X. Oh, uh, yeah.